major VC firm Andreessen Horowitz raising one and a half billion dollars. And we got Scott Austin joining us on the set. Hello. Thank you very much. That's one and a half billion. I mean, billion, that's a lot billion of billion dollars. Dollar. Yes. Oh and my God. That's a lo that's a lot of money anyway, but especially for a VC firm. For a venture capital firm, uh, the entire industry raised about sixteen billion dollars last year, and this is really an extraordinary story, because the the firm only started up in two thousand and nine, and they raised this fund, this one point five billion dollar fund, in about three weeks, and they've raised two point three weeks. Three weeks. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, according to uh, Puyang Tam, uh, who is a reporter on this yeah. story, uh, and uh, they've raised two point seven billion dollars across five different vehicles. Uh, since 2009. Um, this is Mark Andreessen and Ben Horowitz. Mark Andreessen uh, was co-founder of Netscape, made uh, tons of money off of Netscape. They later started a company called Opsware together, uh, which was bought by Hewlett Packard for about $1.6 billion. So they have this really successful track record as entrepreneurs. Um, they're almost gods in Silicon Valley now where uh, any entrepreneur wants to be associated with them. So they have tremendous networks. And uh, they were also successful angel investors as well. Uh, Mark Andreessen was an early investor in Twitter, uh, which is valued at uh, you know multi billions of dollars. Um, so again, it's it's a very uh, kind of incredible story in venture capital right now. Yeah, it, it it does seem to be venture fundraisings of more than one billion are very rare. It says it says that in in the story. Um, one of the criticisms of of and recent Horowitz is that because they've got so much money and, and they aggressively bid is that they're bidding up prices of startups. Is that is that fair? I'm sure the startup founders don't really mind, but it, is, is that a fair comment? And that's also been a question. I mean, there's been this rising valuation question throughout Silicon Valley before this fund came along. Yeah, you can't necessarily blame this firm. So what's Although some will try. Yeah, some <laughs> will try. But what's happening is that the, the, the kind of power uh, center is, is moving just to a few handful of firms. So Kleiner Perkins and Sequoia Capital, Andreessen and Horowitz, and New Enterprise Associates, they've all raised uh, you know, over a billion dollars in funds while the venture capital industry is shrinking. So they're able to bid up these companies because they have the money to do so. Uh, and it, it sort of shuts out all the other investors. So eventually, if the industry continues to shrink and these funds, a lot of funds go out of business, and these other venture firms like Andrews and Horowitz continue to raise more money, you're only going to have a handful of firms that kind of control Silicon Valley, which could be a problem for startups in the future. Not necessarily for the Twitters of the world, but for some of these younger Although, It sounds very clubby, doesn't it? It, it sounds it like very, very clubby. Super clubby. Super, but, super clubby. You know, there's also the angels that are like, mm -hmm. there's this new class of below the VCs that's emerged to take up the fact that, like, there's, um, it's so consolidated that, like, new funders are. Startups are getting money from this, this angel, so it's kind of a realignment of venture capital. Yeah, that's right. But there is this this middle area. So you have these angels that are able to seed a company, right. and then you have the Andrews and Horowitzes of the world right. that are able to spend tens of millions the of dollars. So squashed. The middle's getting middle squashed. Middle always gets squashed. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, yeah. <laughs> middle gets squashed. That's a recurring thing. I'm afraid <laughs> we have to leave it there. Scott Austin, always a pleasure.